you come back at home, the first thing that you should do when you buy an olive oil is to open the bottle and just wait. Don't put on the bread quickly. Mm, okay. <laughs> but because the first thing that you should do is taste olive oil. So I was explaining, usually at home you can use cups like this one, okay, yeah. for, that we use for coffee. But the professional cup that we use has this typical shape, okay, because in this way you can keep the flowers inside. Flavor? Uh, flavor. Flavor, okay, right. Sorry, flavor. Okay, got it. Thank yes. you. So, uh, uh, flavor. Okay, then, anyway, we, we open the bottle, like this, and we put some drops of olive oil inside the cup. Usually, maybe also like uh, half a centimeter of olive oil. All right, okay. so it's about a quarter of an inch or, yeah, a quarter of an inch or so, right? Okay. Then, as I was explaining before, we need to uh, warm up a little bit. The best way is to round the cup like this. Mm -hmm. uh, in this way, we will spread the olive oil on the sides and we will increase the surface of contact between cup and olive oil. After that, we keep in our hand and we close with the other one. In this way, we transfer the temperature of our hands on the cup. And when the olive oil reach, like, uh, let me say, 35, 37 degrees, that is the temperature usually of our hands. Of, of your body, right, so yeah. your body temperature, yeah. The olive oil begins to split the fragments inside mm -hmm. the cup and covering with the other hand, you will keep everything inside, okay? Beautiful. So usually it's like around one minute, not more. Okay. And so while you're doing this, you were also saying before we started filming that you can, if you don't have a little cup like this, yeah. which most people don't have, then you can just use a plastic cup yeah. like this, which is also warms up really quickly, right? Because yeah. it's very thin. Yeah. Maybe half a minute is enough. Exactly. Okay. I will show you also on this cup in order to show the people who, how to do that at all. Yeah. Okay. okay, like this one. Keep brown this way. You can see the olive oil is pretty. Okay, then keep and cover. Yeah. Maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds maximum. Okay. Yeah. Can you smell? It's impossible Absolutely. For, for the people. Oh my yeah, goodness. But it's it's, it's start to smell. Wow. Usually, I suggest. Uh, to wait, not to smell quickly, otherwise your nose will not catch everything. So wait right. when the oil reaches the right temperature, yeah. okay? And after that, you open and start to smell it. Okay? Wow! It's like, um, it's almost like a fresh grass. It's yeah. just been, just been, you know when you mow the grass, right? And it's just that explosion of smells? Yeah. That's one of them. So the first... Uh, wow, that's amazing. I used to say, you don't need to be expert because the first fragrance that you should feel yeah. is olives. It's not stupid. It's something really, really true because. So, so let me ask you this: so when you, if you do this with a fake olive oil, the one that's blended, yeah, like the Berlotti ones okay. and all that BS brands. I, I don't talk about other brands. Okay, but anyway, I, it's my show, so one. I can. The <laughs> fake ones, right? When you do, when you do this and you and you smell, do you have the same pungent smell? Mm -hmm. No. No, right. because usually uh, we will talk later about fake and not fake, but okay. focus on bad and good. Okay. Okay. Because okay. Uh, sometimes even not fake olive oil are bad. Right. Okay. And I forgot but, that your microphone is not attached, so okay. let's put that back on. Do you think it's uh, worth it before or um, we start again? No, don't worry about it. Let's okay. continue. Um, usually when you smell uh, bad olive oil, uh, you never smell about fresh olives. In order to give the idea what mean what does fresh olive means, you should take a green olive when you are in California, when you come in Sicily or Italy, and try to open with your nails and smell. You should feel always that smell inside the olive oil. Mm. With many different you know aspects. Maybe sometimes you will feel more vegetable like tomato and artichokes, otherwise other uh, other times um, almonds, but the, fr the first thing is fresh olives. Okay. Then, if you want to be an expert, you can start also to try to understand if there are other fragrances. You have been very good when you told me that uh, that is the, that is the, the grass. Yes, it's very easy in uh, Sicilian olive oil produced with um, produced with Tom de Blea, that is a typical variety of this area to, to smell the grass, mm. first of all. And the second thing that you will, you will smell is the tomato, the tomato leaf, the green oh, tomato yeah. that usually we yeah. have for, for salads, okay? Yeah, and it's, uh, it's the, you know, like the leaf of the tomato, right? Perfect. It's like that, that type of Perfect. smell, right? Yeah. 